How do you calculate your pack weight? When you're going out on a hike, how do you calculate your weight? Are you just guessing? Are you just putting the stuff in and thinking, yeah, that feels about right, that feels good? Maybe you're using a spreadsheet and you're plugging all those numbers in manually, taking heaps of time, you're spending hours on it. It's fun, I know. But how are you organizing your pack and ensuring you've got everything and then knowing how much it all weighs? Today, we are diving into the world of digital pack planning with two web apps that I have used quite a bit, Lighter Pack and Pack Wizard. We're comparing them head to head and I'll come up with a verdict on which one I think is the best to help you plan your next adventure. So stay tuned to lighten your load and elevate your next hiking experience. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. Mauser here, and on this channel, we're all about making your hiking experience easier and unforgettable. And today, we are tackling a challenge that every hiker faces, efficiently packing for the trail. And I have been using for quite some time these two web apps that help packing and planning your trip a bit easier. These two apps help you optimize your pack weight. So let's find out which one is better than the other. Let's dive straight into Lighter Pack versus Pack Wizard. And if you're enjoying the video, don't forget to like and subscribe that's right, just hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the bell icon. You'll get notified of these weekly videos, but let's get straight into today's video. So today we're looking at these two apps and we're gonna dive straight into them and have a look at one I've been using for quite some years and that one is called Lighter Pack. So we're just gonna bring it up on the screen here now. Get into lighterpack.com. You just Google it and you can find it anywhere. I will leave the links below for all this stuff, but we're here on the Lighter Pack website and uh, it's free free website it's obviously been developed by this guy gallon Maley, and he looks, looks like a guy who makes cool web apps and does blogs and all sorts of things and he's designed this web app he's obviously into computer coding that sort of thing and he's created lighter pack for free it is quite good this apparently is a new version i haven't noticed that message at the top of the screen before i haven't noticed anything in the way of updates to it it still says up here that it is lighter pack beta, beta version. It is a very basic app, but it works. It works very well and a lot of people use it. There's a good community on Facebook for the lighter pack group. Is that what they're called on Facebook? Yeah, so there's a group that discusses lists and you can look at people's lists when they share them. But this is my sort of kit here. This is for a trip I did in 2022 and it shows you a full breakdown. You can see from the pie chart up the top here, a full breakdown of everything of the categories of gear I took so it's got all my stuff down through there and we're just going to go in now we're going to make a quick new list we're going to add a new list there's a couple of options when you're doing it if you're starting with a, a clean slate you wouldn't have any of the lists on the left here you wouldn't have any of the gear but you would come in you would add a new list and you can import a spreadsheet CSV and you can have all your stuff pre-populated in there. If you were like I was before, I used to have a spreadsheet that I created myself, that I created a database in, and I could then do a drop-down choice from my gear, which was all another spreadsheet, but I could pick my gear and create my gear list, and that was before I found Lighter Pack. Now I just use Lighter Pack and also Pack Wizard to do my gear lists, so I do not have to keep using this spreadsheet, which was a bit clunky, so you can do that you can copy a previous list and then just edit it a little bit but we're going to add a new list and you start with a blank slate like this now because i've previously entered all my gear in it's all here and you need to start each new list which is why i normally would copy a list but you can start your list here with say your first category which i'm going to call my pack and then i can either add a brand new item to my gear or if i look in here i've got a hyperlight pack and you can see that that's my normal pack i would take hyperlight 5400 porter i can click and drag that here onto the screen that is in there now i could then add a liner that i would normally take so i'm taking that ultra seal liner in there that goes into the list. It creates sometimes a blank line there. It doesn't matter, but I get rid of it, keep it neat. Pack liner. Then I could create another category. I could call that sleep system. And I could go with my sleeping bag, a Western Mountaineering one in there. We could go with my pad, an X therm. And you just keep doing this and you can see at the top of the screen, it's creating that pie chart. If I created another category called kitchen, then I could go in and throw my stove we're just going to go through this very quickly and take a dragonfly on this trip. So, and you can see there, it's really starting to expand out and categorize all where all my weight is. And I use this to analyze where my heavy stuff is. So if I went into one of my lists, say one I did earlier this year, and I can see there all my packs and bags all up with my stuff sacks, all that stuff was two kilos. And my heaviest component was 3.7 kilos in technology. 
So we can go down and have a look at what that was because that is getting a bit excessive. But there's my technology and cameras, includes my watch. And you can see here by that little picture of a sweater or a jumper, a, a top there, that is what I was wearing. So anything that's got that little thing in there, I can go in and tick it and say I was wearing that. It's got there as well a little food icon. So if I go down to food, you can see there that is consumable stuff. So if you tick something like that by going to the knife and fork if you click that up here it has your consumables which is the knife and fork stuff it has the worn gear which was the sweater with the top and it breaks it all down for you like that so then it gives you a base weight because it doesn't include the worn gear it doesn't include this consumable gear your base weight is all the other gear that you're carrying that isn't got to change throughout the trip so you can see there my base weight for that trip was 14 kilos a little heavy because it contains basically four kilos of technology in cameras and stuff but that was what i took on that trip so it gives you a good breakdown if there was an item on there that say i wasn't taking a we'll just go to, go to this new list say i wasn't taking a um my regular pack i was getting a new one uh, i would have to enter it in manually here so i'd have to go into pack and then say i was taking a new pack what is the best hiking pack and we'll just get a random pack and chuck it in there so you can see how that works a wallaroo 45 litre that sounds pretty cool no idea what that's like but you can see here that this pack um it's a way just need a weight so i'd probably be something like a large and that would be 910 grams say for the v1 so i'm going to get this uh wallaroo 45 litre frame back so i say i chucked that in back into my list Put the description there i could i think it was 875 or nine whatever it was 875 grams i can change the units to ounces kilos pounds whatever i stick with grams for all my stuff then i could add a link to the website so if i share my list someone's got a link they can go to to look at the stuff so then i could do link put that in save that if i wanted a nice little picture of it i could either upload one or i could just go and right click on this image and copy image address Come back to light a pack, put on the camera, little ink on, and I can add an image by URL. So I just paste that into there. And there you go, you can see that pack now is in my kit. So if I took it out, got rid of it out of that packing list, you can see it is still here. I could delete it there if I want as well. But if I put it in there, it's now in there in my list. So I don't have to keep re-entering each time I do a new list. So it's in there in my little personal database of gear. Say I wanted to share that list, I could come up here and share the list here. I could embed it onto my website or whatever. So I could copy that link, paste it and email it to someone or message it or post it on Facebook or wherever. I could do that. I could export it to CSV so I could download it. So yeah, you've got a few options there. Settings, this is just what you want to show. So do you want to have the worn items option? Do you want to have the consumable items option? You can have a list description describing I went on this walk in winter and what you could do whatever you like. I don't normally have that though. Yep, you can also include item prices. So if I do that, it'll bring up this column with all the gear that I put pricing in for. So that's something else you need to enter in if you're going to enter that in. And then it will give you a total of all the gear you've got on this trip, what its value is. I just sort of hide that because it can be a bit scary when you get start adding up the price of everything you've, you've got and you get a major shock when you look at the total price of all the gear. That is a basic overview of Lighter Pack. I really loved it and that's what I've been using until very recently when I started testing out a new one called Pack Wizard, which we're going to jump into right now. And what we're going to do for that is we're going to we'll get that gear list there. I'm going to copy that link and just remember that we're going to save that for later when we're in pack wizard and now we're going to jump straight into pack wizard now that website is packwizard.com and you come to the home page here and that is it there it's a lot more detailed there's a lot more going on in pack wizard and there's a whole range of other features now obviously lighter pack that guy built that as a free sort of service and doesn't spend a huge amount of time maintaining it the guys behind this one of them is justin outdoors great youtube channel check it out link is below for that but this is a really comprehensive sort of trip planning pack planning guide and you get to this home page and there's all sorts of featured pack lists so you can share your lists you can make them public so other people can see them but what i like here what they're doing and i this is expanding and in the last few months they've added more gear they've got research and compare ge gear section down the bottom here so if we were looking at sleeping pads which i have been lately i can click on the sleeping pads there's tents backpacks sleeping pads bags quilts insulated jackets so if i look at that sleeping pads 
it has got all the data for a huge range of sleeping beds. There's, there's probably close to 100 there. Oh, maybe not, maybe 30, 40. And in this list, you can do some sort of analysis. You can sort by weight. You can sort by R value. If we go from the warmest or the coldest to the warmest or the warmest to the coldest. If I was looking for a pad around four and a half R value, I could come down and see all the ones around that range and what my options are, what the prices are. I can do up here my price range. So if I only want, this is in US dollars, by the way. If I wanted to do, spend $150 on a pad, and then I could come down and narrow it down and I can see what pads there are around 4.5 for, for that price. So you can look at them all here. You can have a minimum R value. You can have a minimum width. I, up there it says 143 pads. If I go right out again, 287 pads. So there's a lot of pads there. Really good tool if you're researching new gear to buy. Highly recommend coming and checking this out. If you're after a down jacket, if you're after a tent, if you're after a backpack, a quilt, sleeping bag, or pad, come and check it out here because this is a great spot to do some analysis. I can come up to the top here and browse packs and you can see here people vote on packs and stuff. I can look at different, they've got different seasons so I could sort by season. Some people don't put the season, you could do winter, three season, whatever. Uh, the tags, that is a winter camping list there by Justin Outdoors. You can see in here, he's got his list, and I can go, this is pretty cool. I can have a look through that, expand the description, have a look at what he's saying about it. I can click on there and copy it to my packs. I could copy this pack to my packs and then play around with it in there. Or I could share a link, say to my friends, look, here's a cool pack. Check this one out. I can go back to browse packs and keep looking through it that way. I can then go to my packs up in the top left, and then we're here in my packs. So you can see here I've got I've just been playing around with it. I've started using it quite a bit. And it's the same sort of deal in here. It lists it in a very similar format. You've got a pie chart at the top. Uh, you can value, visualize by item, by category. So that is a pretty cool feature. So I can break it down into all the different items as well. So I like that. It shows you as well at the top of this chart uh, suggestions where you might be able to save some weight. It doesn't have any for this. I must be really packing quite well there. It doesn't talk about my technology stuff, but that is a good feature as well and then they've also got the worn item so they've got a coat hanger to indicate that they've got a spoon and a knife to indicate consumable item they've got the details here so if you click on an item on the right hand side on the drop down arrow you can see all the details about that item there and the different options i can convert it to pounds ounces kilos that is a great feature i really like that you can also do that for the whole list i think yep so you can convert the pack to metric you can convert the pack to Imperial. You can view it as a checklist as well. I think that is awesome. So you can do that and then I can export that. I could print it, I could export it to a CSV, but that is an awesome little feature for just creating a checklist that you're gonna use. Uh, I go back to my pack and you can see here, all those items are in there. Yeah, so the other great feature that this has is that if you are moving over from lighter pack, if you wanna have a play around with it, what you can do, instead of entering all that data in again, which you would have to do without this option. You can come up to the top left here and go import a pack, import pack, and it's specifically for importing from lighter pack. So I would put that little link you'll remember I copied a minute ago. I'm gonna paste that link in, and it says here which column does lighter pack use for item name. So I just need to check here. So my item names are under, so I'm gonna add a new item. You can just do it. So under name, I put the description of the item and under description, I put the, under description, I put the name of the actual item. So for example, if we come back, so under name, I use description, I've buggered it up. So, and what do you use for lighter packs? Name column for, I use it for the item type. So I've got it the other way around there. A lot of people probably do the same, uh, but then I can import those items into my gear closet as well. So they'll all go into here. I've imported this list before, so I'm gonna untick that. But if you hadn't imported a list before, I suggest you tick that box and then click import. And here is that list. It has brought it across from Lighter Pack. Everything is in there. That is pretty awesome. So as you can see, it's brought everything across. It's brought the image, it's brought the links, it's brought the, look, everything. It's um, pretty awesome. Didn't have any details in that one. Has it got it here? The Hyperlite, it's got all that there. Crazy, like that just made it so easy. And visually, I think this is a lot nicer. You can change it to light mode and dark mode. I think I'm a light mode sort of guy. And that is very, very good. It, it is a good option. Now, when you are using PackWizard, if I'm using it from scratch, say I was going to do a new pack, then 
it can put it puts categories in there for you automatically uh, i can add new categories if i want i can change these categories if i wanted like that i could go in here and say i'm thinking of a sleeping bag like my megalite i could say western well it's my catabatic quilt batic our set quilt is what i've got in my gear closet you can see also it is here in the database the pack wizard database so all the gear is in there in the database and uh, I can look it up and add it to my closet as well, my gear closet. So if I went for something like that, you can see all the data is there, puts in a description, I can add it to my pack and it's all there. And I can add that item to this pack, bang, it's in there, it's got a link. I can click on that straight away and go to this link to garage grown gear, awesome. If it wasn't in there, then I can just add it in manually, all these bits and pieces if I wanted to. That database of pack wizard seems to get updated pretty regularly there was gear that i had that wasn't in there and it is in there now and i reckon i'm guessing they probably flag new gear that gets entered in that doesn't match up with their database and then they review it and add it in and you can also as well if you're in a piece of gear yeah so that is a pretty brief overview you can see here as well let's show gear suggestions thing again it's actually got something here for me now suggesting a different pack for me so it's got things like that there as well, and I can have a look through there. It gives me a few ideas on what to pay. It takes, giving me lots of different pack suggestions here, probably because I've got a couple of different packs in there, and it tells me the weight reduction it will give me. So that's a pretty cool feature too. There is trending packs here. There's all sorts of different things, but look, that is a very brief overview of the two. Now, what do I prefer? Lighter pack is awesome. If you're just starting out and you want just something very straightforward, simple, easy to use, you're not worried about all that other information, a lot of packs are a good option. A lot of people love it. I could see here, maybe if you didn't want all this extra guff, you didn't want suggestions for your pack, that sort of thing, you would maybe stick with lighter pack. But I was sort of leaning towards lighter pack. But now that I look at this, I think I'm probably going to use Pack Wizard a lot more now. I'm not going to give up on lighter pack altogether, but just all these features make it really good. And you're probably asking, is this free as well? Well, yes, it is. How do they make anything out of this because obviously it's a great looking website a lot of work's gone into it and that is the fact that they provide a lot of links to gear a lot of them would be affiliate links and then when you make a purchase via this website through the links they provide they would get a commission on any purchases fair enough to them so that was that is how they would be funding this website i would imagine at a guess so in the settings you can see here it's got got the option to actually turn off pack wizard affiliate links on my packs so then they wouldn't get a commission but obviously we want to help them out because this is an awesome app and yeah i leave that turned on i could replace some of the links in there with my own if i wanted so i could get a commission as an affiliate but at the moment i just leave it that way I think it's a really good option if you haven't used any of these websites if you're using a spreadsheet if you're using a pen and paper highly suggest you have a look at these i prefer to use it on my computer you can use it on your phone but that is that's a rundown that is how pack wizard and lighter pack work what are you using are you using any of these things have you got any other suggestions is there an app out there i am not aware of that i should be using that i haven't been using let me know, I'd love to hear. I've been playing around with developing something similar to this just because I like doing this sort of thing, making websites and things. If I were to do this, have you got any suggestions? What sort of things would you want in there that aren't on these? I'm struggling to find much, which makes me think whether or not I should even bother. But this is a, a great app, highly suggest you have a look. And that is today's video, just a quick rundown on Lighter Pack and Pack Wizard. And like I said, I love them both, but I think I'm going to be using Pack Wizard from now on. That is it. That is nearly the last video for 2023. It's been a big year. We might just get one more out maybe on New Year's Eve, just a New Year's treat, and it'll just be a very short one. But until then, hope you're getting outside. Hope you're doing some walks. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the video and to hit that little bell icon as well, and you'll get notified of when each weekly video comes out. Also, don't forget to sign up to Newsletter. New one will be coming out in a couple of weeks. It's gonna be a good one. It's my review of the year. It's got my favorite YouTube video of the year. It's got lots of stuff, but it's short and sweet. So you'll get a lot from it. Sign up to that. QR code is on the screen. Check that out. And until the next time, I will see you later. I've gotta go and um, I'm gonna make some pizzas for dinner. I love pizza. Good. All right, talk to you soon. Take it easy and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.